Where is he? I told you. Your father's not here. <clears throat> they're back. Yes, they're back. But don't get any bright ideas. Your quarters are under full surveillance. Your weapons privileges have been suspended. No more uprisings for you. Did you really think it would be that easy, Commander? You'll get your boys back. Hell, even see the boss too. But first, I need to know what you sent them to do. <clears throat> They wanted to leave. To their homelands. They wanted to go home. That's all. So they were just homesick then? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Militia warlords, PFs, the armies that murdered their families. Cousins, brothers, parents. They all had someone they wanted to kill. <laughs> I told them, last chance to face the world with no regrets. Last chance. You better be ready for your drag back here. Ready to face the world as enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Father, I don't need you anymore. Really, an accident? Or did Eli just rig it to stir up the boys? Either way, he had to have been planning for this all along. Bidding farewell to the world. Okay, here we go. The White Mamba number three, Eli's DNA test. Because, of course, Eli is perceived to be Big Boss's son. In which, you know, from Les Enfants Terribles, with the cloning and stuff. So, Eli is perceived to have been a clone of Big Boss. So, this DNA test should really tell us if that's true or not true. So, let's find out. Boss, we've got the results of Eli's genetic tests. We can finally put this worry behind us. We used the PCR technique and conducted DNA fingerprinting of the copied DNA sequences. Neither is mainstream science yet, but the concepts and procedures are sound. Both tests say there is 0% chance that the two of you are blood relatives, meaning the results are negative. He's not your son, nor is he your clone. He's just another person. It was 12 years ago that Zero made plans to clone you. Eli's age and appearance certainly are a good fit. I admit the first time I saw him, I did a double take. But it looks like we were worried for nothing. Eli isn't your clone. Though you might still have one somewhere out there. But if Eli isn't the boss's clone, why does he seem so obsessed with him? Not to mention having one hell of an attitude for his age. I don't know. Learning the truth about himself, cursing the fact he's a clone, bearing a grudge against selfish adults, and coming to hate who he was cloned from. Big boss. If that were really the case, I could understand it. I might even feel a bit sorry for him. <sighs> but no clone could have a totally different DNA fingerprint. And the test left no room for error. You yourself were there when we drew Eli's blood sample. 
Come to think of it, when we went to OKB Zero, he'd snuck onto a chopper and was there. Yeah. He was acting strange even then. Or actually from a little before that time. That was exactly when we began these tests. Maybe he suspected something when we drew the sample, not knowing what we were doing to him, and becoming mistrustful of us. Hard to say. Eli's had an attitude problem from day one. So what is he then? Well, if he's gonna tell us that himself, we'll need to get him to open up more first. So yeah, there we go. Eli is not Big Boss's clone. Who knew? Well, we do now. Anyway, so let's enter Metallic Arcade then, shall we? And uh, do that again. Awesome. I love that mission. Of course I do. And uh, then we can do Shining Lights even in death. And uh, so that's the flashback one. Of course, it wouldn't be a flashback. It'd be like a main mission. But I, I think everything should stay the same. I apologize if you hear any clicking. I just put a, lo a, a lozenge in my mouth. Hard to say with a lozenge in your mouth, strangely enough. Anyway, Metallic Arcade, we've already done this. Of course, you know the score. D Walker, lots of shots, avoid the gas, easy peasy. Okay, so of course I have skipped past the cutscene, and that is because we've already seen it, so I don't need to see it again, do we? I hope not, anyway. Pretty good cutscene, I do enjoy it, but of course what we need to do is take on the skulls, it's very important, and we need to hide behind things, because people are going to throw shit at us like that. Hopefully they don't hit Code Talker, they probably won't, I mean seriously, they probably won't, yeah, good. Right, well, all we need to do is take on the skulls. We've done it before. I mean, relatively easy. If you can upgrade... Oh my god. Well, please, please don't uh, break my shit. I really do need to keep this alive. Yeah, if we can keep uh, D-Walker alive, that would be absolutely fantastic. So hopefully they don't sprint at us and don't destroy us. Now, of course, remember what I said. Watch out for... Oh my god. Watch out for overheating your Gatling gun. That is terrible. Once it overheats, it kind of... It doesn't break... But it becomes unusable for a short period of time, which of course is not good. Can we go down? There we go. Thank you, sir. Come on, throw that thing at me. Do it. Throw it. Uh, thank you very much. Where's your mate? Where's your mate? Oh my god, I've lost them now. Oh, they're going to probably hit me and I'm probably going to die. I think... Oh god, don't regenerate, please. I thought I took you out. What the balls? Right, well, this is going to get insanely tricky, unless I'm very careful, of course. If you keep shooting them, they don't regenerate, so that's also a good thing. So make sure you keep your eyes on the prize. Where the hell are they going? And also, it's very hard to mark them, as you can clearly see. Oh, my God, they're going everywhere. I would start moving, but of course, uh, by moving, of course, I mean uh, rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Got to follow my rainbow. Oh, God damn it. I wish they wouldn't hit me like that, because it's absolutely awful. When they do, when they start hitting you, I'm running out of fucking ammo here. Um, hopefully I'm behind this uh, thing here, so hopefully they don't hit me. Come on, come on. Uh, okay, well that's fine. Where's the other guy? Probably gonna hit me. Also, D-Walker doesn't really regenerate health, as it were. He, he repairs himself slightly, but he doesn't like regenerate. So if he, he can take a bit of damage and start to smoke, but then he'll slowly over time get health back? I don't really know how to explain that, <laughs> but you know what I mean? It'll be all it'll be all well and good eventually. So if I'm gonna get hit by this gas, right? Which is very, very bad. Oh, there we go. You can hear I'm overheating now, so you gotta be very careful with that. We don't wanna make it run out because of course these guys like that, they're gonna dick us over. Oh god, please. Come on. Come on. You see how long this takes? It takes such a long time. And this is when you're out of commission, and it just takes forever to come back. There we go. You have to wait for a full cooldown, because if you don't, you're done zoed. Here we go. Come on. Go down, sir. Please. Come on. And I need to extract a few other skulls as well. Here we go. Quickly. Now, if we can extract another one. Oh, come on, you fuck. Ah, well. We did that, so that's always good. And there we go. I mean, that was a bit sloppy, and um, some containers would be here. But, you know, I already recorded that, and I took them away. So, unfortunately, they're not going to be there. And I didn't actually get by the gas. Well, I did a little bit, but not much. So, there we go. Whilst waiting for the chopper, 
Oh my god, we might as well look for some decent soldiers, because there are going to be a lot of soldiers just roaming around. Well, I say roaming, as you can kind of see. They're not really going anywhere. But yeah, there are going to be some pretty decent soldiers, such as this guy. And it's okay to extract them. So, yeah, you might as well do that, aren't you? Uh, oh god. Uh, I guess that's pretty good. And that's about all we're going to get for now. So there we go. That is Metallic Archaea, the extreme version. Not really that extreme. They just take a bit more damage and tend to jump on you a lot more. So there we go. Metallic Archaea Extreme. Done and done. Easy peasy. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Amazing. Mission complete. That right there is why you're the best, boss. The one and only. S rank, I mean, of course. It's not actually that hard. It's just a little bit finicky, especially if they hit you and D Walker goes down. In which case, yeah, it's going to be very, very tricky. I mean, I have beaten this only using, like, actual weapons without D-Walker, it takes forever. Really, really long. I mean, using a CGM, pretty damn useful, but other than that, oh my god, it takes such a long time. I wouldn't recommend it. D-Walker all the way. Well, I never really understood what that was about there. To be honest, I don't think I do at all. It's just really weird. The parasites can, like, communicate with him. Pretty cool, I suppose, but, like, eyes on Kazuhira. Still don't really know what that means. And I know the ending of this game. <laughs> and I still don't know what that means. I think I might know, but I don't really. You know what I mean? What is that? Is that just the water? I hope so. Yeah, I think it is. Anyway, what I wanted to do was just get clean real quick because when I head off into the next mission, I kind of want to be nice and clean for it because it is a it's a very important mission. It's, it kind of... It, it's very big. You know what I mean? You don't really do much. You just walk around. But it's quite a large thing. You know, in the grand scale, it's quite sad. So, I'm not going to talk for it, of course, because I don't want to ruin it with my shite commentary. But I want to be clean for it, because uh, you do change your outfit when you get there. However, uh, the blood still goes through. I hope that's not Chris's blood. 